We still are a nation at war. More than 100 state lawmakers signing onto a letter blasting changes the National Guard Bureau made earlier this year. The Bureau hires contract employees to staff Maine's Military Family Assistance Center. We had Tracy Richard works in Augusta as the program coordinator. She oversees four other workers. They help military members and their families connect with vital support services. I thought that National Guard Bureau also understood and valued the work that my coworkers and I provide across the country, but we've been proven wrong. Richard says changes to the federal contract prompted layoffs earlier this year. Workers were then invited back at a fraction of their original pay. Richard's hourly rate fell from 24 to 14 dollars. Three of her four employees have since left. I made more when I managed a subway in college than I do right now. Richard says last year she and her staffers had 18,000 contacts with Maine National Guard members or their family members. And she says in this line of work, it's not out of the question to get a phone call that turns into a matter of life or death. We're their lifeline and we take that very seriously. Local Guard Brass agrees. A spokesman writes, the Maine Army National Guard has expressed displeasure and concern with the national contract discussed at today's press conference. Our primary focus is to continue to provide essential services to our service members, their families, and other veterans. We remain hopeful that the National Guard Bureau and contractor will address these issues. It's really important that they're taken care of so that they can continue to take care of us. In Augusta, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.